Despite the senior homelessness crisis, St. Matthew's Health held a food distribution today at the Paradise Coast Sports Complex in Collier County. Hundreds of people lined up to get food just to make it through the week. Make News reporter Michelle Alvarez joins us live there. Michelle, homelessness in Collier County is increasing now. Why? The tragic story I hear starts with senior couples. A spouse dies and suddenly the survivor can't afford to make ends meet on just one social security check. The Women's Foundation of Collier County and St. Matthew's House are working to find solutions, but say they need more help. This huge line doesn't turn heads anymore. It's almost routine. 500 or so families who need help putting food on the table. We've been so behind on bills, so most of our money goes to catching up. So with the inflation, with the food and everything, we've noticed even in the past couple weeks, it's been all going up still. But mixed in this line are people who come to pick up food and deliver it to others. They can't get around. One's a senior to one son's waiting on a liver transplant. And I'm here to help. They're my neighbors across the street, way out going gay states. Another problem partly masked by this long line at the Paradise Coast Sports Complex, homelessness among seniors. St. Matthew's House says 20% of the people currently in its shelter are 65 and older. The Women's Foundation of Collier County told me it's a problem that can only be solved if government and nonprofits work together. I think it's with all of us looking for housing and it's actually building affordable housing. That is really what we need to do here in Collier County. Certainly a lot of developers like to build the great big houses and you can't blame them. It's, you know, it's what, what, uh, is what they do to, in order to make money, so we all understand that. But we have to get ourselves in a position where we have more affordable housing, particularly for seniors and veterans. And according to the Homeless Coalition of Collier County, in their most recent count, they found 703 people homeless. 195 of those were seniors, and 63 of those seniors were women. For now reporting live, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News.